Hi guys, in this tutorial we will going to learn how you can create a library in this environment. Since this is a 5250 environment, command line environment, also called green screen, majority of the work is done with the help of commands. In the last tutorial I shared with you the four menus available to you in this environment, so today we're going to start to work with the commands. In order for you to create a library, the command that we use is CRTLIB. Now in this environment, all the commands start with an action verb and followed by a subject or a noun. Everything is abbreviated to three letters with some exceptions. So as we progress through this course, you will going to be seeing those exceptions as well. I'll be showing a command CRTLIB. Now the commands are not case sensitive. Commands have parameters or arguments. These parameters have to be in a certain sequence. If you do not follow the sequence, the command will go to error out. It's not easy to remember all the parameters and their sequences. Therefore, to make our life easy, IBM has provided us with something called prompt screen. So after typing a command, if I hit press, if I press F4, which is one of the function keys, it brings this create library. Here I can provide the name of the library that I want to create followed by the library type and any kind of a description I want to attach to the library. Names of objects are limited to 10 letters only in this environment as we discussed about it last time we were here. So I'm going to be giving it a library name. Books LIB 17. You do not need to have a name that is 10 letters long. However, you can if you wish to. Now, coming down here to the blank. Here I can provide the description. Books Library 2017. Now when I'm done, I can simply press Enter. But before I move forward, I want to talk a little bit about the library type. You only have two possibilities for library type, either it's a test or a production. You will realize that there is an asterisk to the left of prod or to the left of test. In this environment, any value that has an asterisk to its left is called a system value. What does that mean? That means that this particular value has a special meaning in this language. So all system values will always be preceded with an asterisk. When you're done with the command, you simply press enter to execute the command. And now it tells me that the book library 17 has been created. This is how you create a library. In the next set of tutorials, we're going to learn how you can add a library to your library list, how you can remove a library from your library list, and some of the other commands related to library. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.